Hello, my name is Frema Tetu and welcome to Nana Frema TV. Today I'm in the Upper East region of Ghana. I'm in Paga Nania slave camp. This is where slaves were being transitioned to the slave market and then to the American. Today we're going to learn a bit about our ancestry, where they lived, where they drank, where they ate and what happened to them before into the Americas. I'm, I'm Nana Frema, and you are? Candy yeah. Eric. Candy Eric. Candy okay, Eric. thank you for doing this with us. Yeah. This place is called Paganania Picoro Slave Camp. Okay. Yeah, Paga in general, the Nania is a community under the mm -hmm. Paga district. And Picoro is a camp or a slave camp found in Paga community. Yeah, slave trade began here in 1704, the year 1704. Nania means place of Keta. Yeah, then Picoro also means place of rock. Yeah, slave trade began here in the year 1704. Is it slave trade where the Europeans came, or is it slave camp. trade where slave, slave camp? camp not a trade. Okay, slave, slave camp. camp. Slave okay, were being collected from various tribes and different places, and they were being held here for a couple of days. Okay, before moving to the Salga slave market. We have a slave market in Salga. Where people, any slave you have, you can go there and negotiate with them. And most, mostly, most of uh, those who are at the Salga slave market usually come here to buy as well. Okay, to buy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, slave trade began here in the year 1704. Mm -hmm. Three slave raiders or slave masters here. But one of them started the whole trade and later on involved. He came and asked the natives of the community just to give him a piece of land to settle. They thought he was trying to rescue himself from danger and all those things. So they took him as a brother, a friend, and gave him the land to settle. Not knowing that his intention was different in altogether. Mm. So after this man has settled, the community members tried their possible best to know about this man. When they asked him, he keep on giving them different stories. Oh, I'm this man, I'm from here. The next day, he'll come with different things altogether. So they didn't know anything about him. So they decided to give him a name called Bagao. Mm -hmm. meaning Bushman. Mm -hmm. They doesn't know anything about him, Bushman. Mm -hmm. So they gave this man the land to settle after this man had settled and gained grants. He now even became a native of the community, no more a settler. Mm -hmm. So after this man has settled and became a native, he then developed a plan or a trick by going to the houses of the community, telling them that, oh, I have a link over the coast. If you give me your energetic sons and daughters, I'll take them over there, give them better jobs, and they'll come and take care of the families. When going there, he used to go there with cola, tobacco, hard drinks, mirrors, things that were not common here, mm. just to convince them. Act of ignorance, they also hand over the energetic sons and daughters to him. He will bring them here, then gather them more, then mind them to the, slave, the castles, and most of them will be sold at the Salga slave market. Actually, the community members really knew what this man was doing. They were trying that, they were thinking that he was trying to help them the yeah not knowing right, that is right, the way right, other way jobs. yeah okay. other way around so it came to a point in time that this man the community members realized that what this man was doing is a fraud because you came for the first badge when they haven't heard anything from mm -hmm. them second badge they said no we cannot keep on doing this we have to put a stop to the man so they stopped listening to you come they will not listen to him they are not even giving the chance to express himself again that was when he then decided to involve two of his friends, Samoritura and Baba, to from Burkina Faso and Mali. And they were even more expert. They have experience in the slave trade more than him because during those eras, slavery was even ongoing there. The Mali Empire and all those things where they were even doing slavery. So he involved two of them. They came here and joined here in the camp. And they used to travel as far as, as long as those places to capture slaves. Um, during any social gathering, like naming ceremony, funerals, anywhere they could just capture you, then bring you here. Actually, slaves wasn't having shelter. They were being chained in shackles against the trees. Their only means of shelter was the trees. Yeah. So they were being brought here. And when they were being, anytime slaves are being captured from the place and they were being brought here, they used to give them marks using the very hot burn iron rod. That's branding. Mm -hmm. Just to indicate that this slave is from the Bagaus master in the Bagaus camp and all that, yeah. And the main reason why this Bagao man decided to use this place as a camp was that there are some basic things that are needed in life that this rock could provide for him. 
Yeah, slave trade, it abolished in the year 1764. 1764. 64. That's when they abolished yeah, the slave when, trade here. Yeah, and, they've okay. abolished the slave trade here. Okay. Where the chiefs and the other community members came together and attacked these men. And the Samori Tui and Baba Tutu, they, were, they went for capturing at Sandemine. They were killed over there. Okay. And the Bagama, it was indicated that this man has been killed here or he flew there or something like that. We doesn't know anything concerning his running away. But these two were killed at Sandama, and that was where the slave trade ended here. Is there any history of um, of where during that time where they took them to? Was it this one where they were taken all the way to Cape Coast and then sent into the Americas, or this was just a local slave trade within um, that time Ghana Empire? Yeah, actually. It wasn't a slave trade. This place was a slave camp. A slave camp. A slave camp. Okay. Where they like where a transition. They, yeah, it's a transition. They collect them from many various tribes. Mm -hmm. Then being, this is a spot where they will be gathering them one by one, two, three, maybe. They go to Sandman, they have been able to capture five. They will bring, chain them, mm -hmm. go to different places. When they are up to the number they needed to send, Maybe send, where? send to Salga slave market, and most of them will be sent to the castle for shipping to Europe. To Europe. So yeah. eventually, it was a transition it, from here. This is where they will first come they will first here, come here, and then they will go to Salaga market, Salaga market. transfer to Salaga market, and yeah. then from Salaga market to the to Cape Coast, to Cape Coast, where they will be transitioned into the Americans. The Americans. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I wanted to find out. Okay. Yeah. So I thought maybe it was just the um, slave trade within the Ghana Empire. No, 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 no. Okay. All right, so are we able to look around and oh, see okay. and talk about more of the okay. um, locations? Yeah. All right, thank you. So, in this river. i to i it's a summer hut. We build it as reception, you know, during rainy season or later, uh, later in the year, maybe March, April. The, hand, the sun is always hot. Mm -hmm. When you are under this place, you feel very comfortable. It's very cool. Very cool. Can, I can see So that's a signpost indicating holding place for slave to Salega slave market. Are we there again? No, it's just it indicates the trees where they were chained in shackles okay, so against. So these individual trees, trees is where they were they chained. They were chained against. Okay. So so let me ask you this. So this shed was not even built for them to have some type of shelter. No, 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 no. But no. these were the trees. These were their shelter. Okay. The trees so what were, were these shelters built? Uh, it was built by one of our members, that's Aaron, in the year seven, in 2007. 2007, yeah. where slave trade, slave trade has, has, has been abolished a long, long time years. ago. Yeah. Okay, so, so this we was just not built their resting place, no, 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 but no, these, we, trees these trees were, were where they were chained at. Yeah. We just did as a reception. Maybe visitors come, you mm -hmm. can rest. Mm -hmm. Make yourself comfortable. Yeah. Okay, so this is their main source of water. This is where they used to get water to drink and prepare food. This water doesn't dry up. No where matter is it what. Coming from? It's coming from it's the coming ground. From the down. It's deep as seven feet. So it comes from the ground. It doesn't dry up. If it's rainy season or dry season, there is water present for them. Yeah. How do they cook their food? Yeah, it's being cooked. Their meals are 
our local dishes. TZ, all those kind. And during those times, there wasn't these metal planes and bowls or cooking utensils like frying pans and all those. Mm -hmm. All they could get was made out of clay. The clay pot, they used to cook with those ones. Okay. Okay, this is their bowls. This is where they used to feed them. This is a bowl? <coughs> yeah. Like the bowl on the ground or it's just, they had a bowl and then they set it here and then it made a mark? No, this particular hole is a bowl. This hole right this here? This hole right here was a bowl, was for, a bowl them for them. How did they eat? Did they he eat made like them like to like calf them? on top of this rock just to create a hole like this to Is enable. He made them do what? Yeah, they calf on top. He made the slave to calf on top of this rock just to create a hole in this shape to enable him to feed them. Because they couldn't get nowadays metal and rubber planes, which all they could get was made out of clay and they could easily break. So he just made them to calf on top of this rock to create a hole to enable him to feed them. And it depends on the number of slaves they have been able to capture. Yeah, maybe if they are hundred, then they will divide them into four groups, maybe four people, three people. It was only in the eating place, the entertainment place, that they were being given freedom out of their shackles. And it's only their hands that will be unlocked. Yeah. So they will unlock your hands and your legs will be changed. You will be asked to eat. Anymore. I wonder how they sat and, and ate like this. <laughs> Okay. Okay. This is their grinding stone. Mm -hmm. Even in our local house, some of these things still do exist. Right. They will pour bits, see that sort of grains here, mm -hmm. they use a side of stone like this. Yeah. And grind, collect it here, and re grind when it's well, not well grind. To pay whatever they want to. Right. I remember growing up when there, there was a stone like a this, stone, but I didn't yeah. know the history yeah. came from this. This. Because I know that when we wanted to grind our pepper, you put it on this. Another river? No, that's a reservoir. A reservoir. Yeah. Water was stored there temporarily during entertainment. Yeah. So these two rocks are the entertainment rocks. If you hit any spot, it generates different sound. The same rock, different sound. Determined to entertain themselves. Yeah. So every evening after taking their supper, all slaves will be made down here. That was the dancing floor. And they will select four drummers from each tribe to come here and drum for the others to dance. Okay. Yeah, they used to fetch water from the main source, store it here temporarily in case you are thirsty. They allow you to go back and may escape. So they will just fetch water along and store it temporarily. Excuse me. What I say? Uh, so they fetch water, store it here temporarily in case you are thirsty. They allow you to go back, you may escape. And the entertainment. In case they let you go back, you go may here. escape. Yeah. So they have the water. The water here. right here. So that if you're thirsty, if you're thirsty you drink, drink right there and then go, go back. back and dance. They were doing the entertainment just to let them forget the pains they were going through. You know, most of them were captured by force, leaving behind families, properties, and all those things. So even though they were here forcefully, but they wasn't comfortable. So they were doing the process of in the entertainment, they used to sing songs of inspiration. Telling them that they shouldn't worry. Life over there will be better than here. They've already prepared a place over there for them. When they get there, they will find it very easily. They shouldn't worry what is going on here. When they get there, they will be okay. Telling them stories just to let them forget the pains they were going through. Yeah. So that is what they used to do here. It's unfortunately for you. Our community members usually come to drum for you to see how it's done. Okay. Because we cannot just say this an entertainment truck without the entertainment itself. Yeah, but we are having fun. They're not here around. today. They are not here. They are not here yeah. today. But I, I saw the the different sounds. Yeah. yeah. It's past here to shorten the. Yeah. 
and that's all about close class. Come on. Um, because recently, I'm going to be able to get a pink color. Aha, excuse me, Panda. I'm going to tell you that I find out when I was in Joanna, do you really care about that? Yeah. Nobody has ever said that, but the, the stalls look like faces to me. Ah, Nobody has ever said that? Somebody has said it before. Somebody has said that before. Yeah, yeah it looks like faces. That mm -hmm. one had a face. The one Especially over there also had a face. This one, yeah. for example. Mm -hmm. Has a face. They have faces. But there is no any history indicated That's about right. them. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is their meeting place. As you can see, the place is mounted like a stage uh -huh. where the slave masters could be on top, while slaves down the here. Slave masters would be on top. On top, here. whilst delivering, what sort of message they have to deliver to them. And every morning, all slaves will be someone here to count. Yes, you ensure that the number of slaves they had, none of them had escaped mm. during the night. Yeah. And also, this was the last place after leaving the camp. Also, they were being brought here, then they will select them, arrange them based on strength, maybe height and all that, and chain and shackles. Then straight right from here to Salaga Slave Market. Was it, this is the path to Salaga? Yeah, anyway, okay. because it's, yeah, you know, the route is this way, but they could walk during those times. There wasn't road and there was no means of transport. Right. All they could do was walk towards the slave masses on horses. Yeah. So all here is just preserved for the memory of them. It's not used for anything else, just for memories. That's wonderful. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. Go get that. So this is the white tower. As you can see, this is the highest amount of points in the camp. Mm -hmm. Where the slave radar of the security will be on top while surveying all over the camp. In case a slave is trying to escape, or in case their openings are trying to attack them, mm -hmm. then he will blow alarm using a cow horn mm -hmm. for the minor security down there to chase after the incidents. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Be careful. This is the same thing. These are graves too. Yeah. So the ones that they were not able to make it. To make it, they were laid to rest at this spot. Where, and it depends on the number of slaves that will die per day. Even if you attend, they just give you much better. Mm -hmm. the same grave, then continue with. Continue with the journey. Mm. Yeah. And their graves are being dug in our traditional way. Mm -hmm. Around like a calabash, mm -hmm. and down like the mining cave, then deep, something like this. So inside, something like this. Mm -hmm. Where they put your head and then you back then like so. Mm -hmm. And after five years, five after five, five years after burial, they can open the graves and rebury another person. On top of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After five years, they open and rebury. So all these are this. This is the punishment rock. This is where they used to punish those who disobey the rules of the camp. Mm -hmm. If you are caught maybe trying to escape or 
involved in any criminal act that is against them, you're being brought here and your legs will be crossed and chained against the rock. And your hands at your back also chained. And you will be forced to raise your head facing the sunlight from sunrise to sunset. And accomplish with cane and depending on your crime. In the presence of the others, they just were scared and not to do the same. Mm. So this is where most of them couldn't make it. And they will just drag you to your grave. So they will sit here, cross their legs, yeah, chain them. And you forced to raise your head facing the sunlight. Oh, this is hard because my, my leg cannot. I can imagine if the slave person was a short person like I am. This is hard. Even imagine sleeping on this thing from on, morning to Right, morning. to sunset. That's and very hard. Cleaning and raising your head. Trying to. So that was the pattern in addition to whipping. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe if you refuse to raise your head. Because the sun is very scorching, and, and here the sun hmm. is really hot. Here, yeah, <laughs> I love the weather, I love the sun, <laughs> right? Yes. Mm -hmm. This is interesting. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video with me. If you haven't subscribed to Nanafrima TV, go ahead and then subscribe below. There are more videos coming your way.